It's 1849. A meteor crashes somewhere amongst the islands of the Arctic archipelago. The natives, frightened, told tales of the meteor to travellers nearby, and by 1852, an expedition was sent. No one has been heard from since. Over a year has passed, and the expedition has not returned. You are sent to investigate what happened. Hey bunnies, and welcome to Indie Insider. It's been a long time since I've done this, I know, um, but I really want to get into it. I want to do like one a week if I can, if there's enough games, but at least one a month if that's not like possible. So this game is called Formation by Ruben Tiprock. It's part of the Madvent calendar of 2020, which I believe was a advent calendar of PS2 flavored games during 2020 December, Christmas time. So hopefully it's gonna be real cool. It's pretty, it's pretty new. Um, and I love the PS2 style. It's really good for horror, I think, because you have the pixelation, which means that you don't really know what you're looking at a lot of the time, which I think is really good for, like, the flavor of it. Um, it also lends itself to, like, found horror, kind of horror-cracked game type situations. Yeah. Um, so there was a story mode that I hope... Is this going to skip? The journey here was less than exciting. We arrived on the HMS Ticonderoga and set up camp after three years. Since the meteor's arrival, the surrounding air in this region is abnormally warm. Initial ground survey shows that the soil is enriched with some unknown minerals. There was a bit of weird writing there. I don't know if the person's an English speech speaker or what. Oh, not the door opening slowly. Another note. March 12th, 1853. We've established that the natives nearby have dubbed the rock Agnari. They saw it as a local legend, that the one who seeded the earth would return to find it unfavorable, and begin a new transformation in the image it desires. What? As in the rock is the one who seeded the earth, or is the rock is the seed? Whoa. I can just throw the lantern. I'm going to go over here. There's probably an invisible wall somewhere. Am I going to get eaten? No, invisible wall. I thought so, but I thought that it was going to be like over here. It's weird that they let you walk around over here for no reason. What is that? Hey, you! Oh. I thought there was physics. There's no physics. It just kind of drops in front of you. I guess I can pick up like a maybe a gun or something. Waterfall. That means see... Uh, no. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna continue on the game. So just a refresher on what Indie Insider is, the um, premise is that we kind of like rate and look at indie games. Um, I usually sort by horror and popular in the last thirty, like released in the last thirty days and popular. So that means that it's not that popular because it just got released. Um, so I can kind of look at it and go like, okay, this this. This has no hype, so I can't go like, oh, it's overhyped kind of situation. It's just, is it is it as good as I think it is? The stream nearby exhibits some strange properties. It seems to be the source of local mineral deposits in the soil. Surveying the meteor has yielded little to no results, as we don't have the proper tools to break inside. But it appears to somehow be influencing the nearby surroundings. I'm not sure how. Interesting. I'm Thanos at the moment. There we go. I love the snow particles. I love the creaky door. I really wish they didn't all open creakily. Like, maybe sometimes they'll just slam the door open. Mr. Albert and I set on a 115-mile journey. We carried with us supplies for three weeks. Hopefully, the locals can provide us with some help with surviving the winter or sending a message home. Okay. I don't see anyone in there. I'm going to check the logs, see if there's, like, a... I see, like... Every time I see a PS2 style game like this, my immediate assumption is there's going to be a lot of secrets, because that's what they did. Like, it wasn't easy to find secrets, too. Is that light on? 
Maybe? Hang on. Okay, the light doesn't pierce windows, I see. Key? Yes. October 10th, 1853. We returned from our journey to find crewman Charles had died of an unknown illness. The doctor asked what we found and we told him the bad news. The locals have abandoned their village. It was as if our arrival brought some curse. They left no food or water in its place. Winter might be what finally kills us. I like that. Especially the music. Because it gives like a foreboding situation. Oh. I feel like the key was supposed to open... No. Okay. So I don't know what that trunk's for then. I know, I'm not sure, this could be like a psychological horror and not really like a real jump scare type thing. The snow has been piling up, and we could see tracks left by some kind of creature. I feel we are being watched by something more cunning than ourselves. We've decided to start a night watch for this animal in rotations around the clock. Is that the creature, or is it like a statue? It's not breathing, so far. Albert has disappeared without a trace. Blackley called him a coward and a deserter. I can't blame him. There's something unsettling about this place. I'm under the assumption that, firstly, his mouth is just a zipper. Secondly, he's not a statue, he's a real thing. That's usually what happens with these kind of horror games. A strange statue carved in wood has appeared in our camp. I'm not sure what to make of it. I've never seen such a creature from any mythology. Perhaps it is a warning from the locals. I thought they had all left a month ago. Or maybe I was wrong. Months ago. Or maybe I was wrong. The characters in this game automatically assumed it was a creature from mythology. My assumption would be there's a creature I've never seen before because this is an expedition to somewhere we've never been before. That you would see creatures you haven't seen. This isn't a mythology thing. This is a, like, this creature would just be, oh, this creature it lives here, right? Why would you assume mythology? Dunno. Bit funky. I think it's just like the writing is a bit is a bit funky. Like it wouldn't have mattered if it was mythology if they said mythology or if they said I've never seen a creature like this, really. But that just doesn't make sense to me. Blackley claims he saw the carving come alive last night. Animated. It ran deep into the woods and gave off a disturbing howl that shook the trees around. Neither the doctor or I believe him. We believe something in the water might be causing hallucinations. It's not coming after me and it's not howling. I'm guessing that goes to the river. Oh. December 12th, 1853. Swanson believes that the trace minerals are causing some sort of neurological disease. He believes in time we may all suffer the same fate as they, those two men before. What do you think you're doing? Um, do the, uh, those notes just appear there? Or like... The doctor has fallen ill. Blackley seems restless to find out what's inside the rock. The water started... glowing more vibrantly at night. It seems to be a reaction from the minerals when exposed to freezing temperatures. Fractures are also appearing on the rock. Something is coming alive. I don't like that my... Oh, it's me. I'm the one making the footsteps. It's just it. Because I was moving when I clicked E, it must have... Mr. Blackley suggests we build walls closing off this area in case something were to escape from the rock. Its surface has grown brittle, and a green light is shining through its cracks. We are on the brink of first contact with a being from the heavens. My only fear is that the world won't learn of what we discovered here. Today is the day we crack it open. Whatever evils be unleash, may God forgive us. Okay. I was expecting that to be... I don't like that the music's going louder, and I there's no, like, audio slider. So I can't turn it down, I just have to accept it. There are a wall here. There is. I was hoping that it would be, um... I could, like, run down to the dock. Okay, my assumption is that... No, he's still here. And this bone key. Oh. Is my light wavering? What happened there? Okay, so was the goal to get me here, I reckon. Ready? Ready? It's going to be gone now. Because the goal was to get me there. Oh.
If it escapes, all of mankind is done. You leave me no choice. It escapes. Oh, wait. I'm opening the door to let it escape? I didn't read that. Stop now. Go home. Or I will stop you. Is... So I'm assuming Zip Ahead is the alien, right? That's escaping? Who's I? Who's I that they're talking about, right? Like, I'm confused about that a little bit. Bug or... There's red on it, so I feel like that's a bug. I feel like that should, should say something. Stop! Okay. Is that just to someone else? Like, is that seriously someone else just trying to get me to stop? Hello? Eh. Eh, I can't drop my lantern anymore. What was the point of dropping the lantern? It's very siren head. Kind of. How? I wonder if it's the same sound effect, but like PS. Like, it's noisy. Uh, it's cute. Laser? More. 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 What did you blow up? I'm confused. I have a big confusion right now. This is a very long animation. I would have liked for something more interesting to happen during. Okay. I have. It's been a long time since I've done any insider. I'm pretty sure there were three criteria for a ranking system. The first criteria was plot. Out of out of five, I think plot's probably like a four or a five. Probably a five actually for this one because it's a really cool story. I like the idea. Like an expedition team came down because they were like, oh, this is something we can like do science on essentially, which I'm assuming was the rock, right? And they met with the like native people in wherever they were. Apparently, it's Canada. I don't know. Um, and then they just ran off or disappeared. No one knows why. They could have turned into those creatures, or they could have just ran off because they knew those creatures existed, or they could have been eaten. Who knows? Um, the th so that's one thing that makes me think they might have turned into the creatures is that the creature didn't attack us at any point. It just kind of stood in front of us while the animation at the end happened, which makes me think that they were turning into them. Also, there was like four characters we learned about in the notes, and there was like four people behind. So plot, I reckon five. Uh, the mechanics, so standard, standard assets, standard like mechanics, standard codes to like make game design easier. I understand that. Um, I'm really against when people add people add those standard mechanics and don't fix them to like like hold the script only to the needed mechanics right so like if there is no need to jump don't put a jump mechanic in doesn't make sense it's not a mechanic you need in the game now if it's a simulator that's different don't add mechanics that aren't needed for play the dropping the lantern mechanic completely useless lantern mechanic overall completely useless the light doesn't travel there's no traveling light picking up a lantern was useless the whole e to interact with objects i think the light was just for teaching you about notes um but there was no need to add a lantern in there um at all so i when there's mechanics there that aren't needed i don't know if they coded the whole thing themselves maybe that mechanic was going to be used and they didn't have enough time to finish it that could be an option but for the mechanics, I'm going to give it like a three. It was very basic. There was no kind of new system. It was just interact with notes and pick up objects. It would have been like a four if there was a reason for every mechanic. But I think there needs to be a reason.
unless it's a simulator in which no mechanics that don't make sense for whatever simulation. The third option is like vision. The reason that vision is a thing and it's separate from like plot kind of thing is that you can see that they go going somewhere big with it and they are like are going there, right? And I think that the vision is really cool. The like lore was built up to the point where you could make a series on this game on this rock that fell to the earth and created these creatures very easily. There's there's a very easily like franchisable option here if it was a very popular game. So I'll leave the score up on the screen. Thank you for watching. There's a link in the description to play the game. It is free um, on Itch.io. And I will see you in the next one. Funny out.